Welcome back everybody to another video and today we're going to be making pizza and I, I have to say pizza is not one of my favorite things that I you know but it doesn't matter because we're going to create here and make the pizza way we want to make it that you guys all want to make it so um, first of all you can actually buy your pre uh, pre-made dough um, you know like I they sell it in the stores um, the mama pizza mama pizza or something but they have those where you can do it but I'm used to like rolling out my own dough for everything so um, that's what we're gonna do um, it could be a workshop if you like you know if not you can just watch um, so that's what we're gonna do first because I'm gonna come back because I have a lot of veggies and herbs and stuff that I'm gonna put on this pizza you know and like I said we'll just go through it along the way and create create um, and we'll start first by just making our dough okay so it's not like we have to rise it or anything like that you know we don't even really have to refrigerate it because we can just roll out the dough and and have it ready for pizza okay so first of all I'm going to go ahead and show you all the ingredients that we're using here for the crust, okay? We're going to use, and I'll put the measurements up for you guys, so don't worry about it. We will put those up, but I do have them inside what I believe I'm going to be using. So we're going to use two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, okay? And then we're going to have a little, you know, like a third of a cup just on the side that we can, so we can roll on our surface, you know, roll out our dough, do that. And then I have a cup of butter, and I have it cubed, and this is what it looks like. This is our butter, and of course a cup is two sticks, two sticks of butter, unsalted or salted, your preference. Um, but I would recommend the unsalted because we're going to be putting prosciutto on our pizza, and it has a lot of salt in it, okay? So I just... It's your purpose though, so that's why I said you can just, in fact, when I do this and we create this, I would like to hear your comments on the type of pizza that you are going to create. You know, or even if you're doing it with me, you can say, oh, you know, I put in this and I put in that, and that would be great. I would like to hear that, okay? So that's our butter we're going to use for it, and our flour, and then we have, ah, uh, like I said, I do have the salt out here because uh, I have the salt, I put a little salt on the chicken and I am using chicken breast and it's marinating now in in the, in this. It's, it's marinating in one, two, three, four. These four ingredients, okay? Mrs. Dash, chicken seasoning, okay? Mrs. Dash, lemon and pepper. Mrs. Dash, onion and herb. And Mrs. Dash, not Mrs. Dash, but McCormick peppercorn medley. And you're going to set it to the first notch. And this is on the meat. We're sprinkling it out. And you want to actually um, pound out your meat. I only use two slices is what I use. And I pound it out and made it thin. And then I cut it in strips. I cut it in strips for our pizza. And then I cut it in, in half of the, the other strip. I just, you know, cut a diagonal. Cut it in like that. But I'll pull that out. Let me see if we can get to that. Just kind of show you what's going on with that. Yeah, here we go. Okay, this is our chicken breast. Okay, and you see how seasoned up it is? You see that? Okay, but we're, you know, we're going to do our crust first. Let's make that crust. That's what we're going to do. So all of these ingredients are already on the chicken. Okay to the side. So let's go ahead and start with our crust. Okay, first of all, we're going to add uh, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to go ahead and put it in our bowl. There's one, there's two, and a half. Two and a half cups, okay? All right, let's just put these over here. And then, and I have this up here for a reason too, because this actually, the apple cider vinegar is going to go in the crust, okay? 
and this right here um, for the crust, I think we'll, you know, is, is Aunt Jemima cornmeal, like enriched cornmeal. We're gonna like put that on the bottom of it, okay? We're gonna put some olive oil on the bottom and put this to it, and I think it's gonna turn out nice, okay? So now we got this. Let's get our whisk, okay? So we're just we haven't got anything in there yet. <laughs> I mean, you know, the water. We're gonna put ice water in here and water, like a half a cup. So now let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put one tablespoon of sugar. I have this down here too. One tablespoon sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and put for the flop for the uh, dough for the crust. Okay, the pizza crust. Okay, it's basically the same way I make my crust. So that's why I said crust. I said uh, dough. <laughs> Okay, so this is our butter, and we're going to go ahead and put it in, okay? And we're going to go ahead and put it in. I guess we could use this, because that's what we're going to probably use. You probably want to use a, a wooden spoon, because it's going to start getting, you know, kind of tough to turn before you can mix it up. Okay, and then, of course, you're going to use a pastry cutter to blend that all in. Okay, so let's go ahead and start doing that. That's what we're going to do, start doing that. And before we could put our little, our water and our ice in, we got to kind of get this into crumbs a little bit. Not, well, you know, like big crumbs. You know, you can't see it's not doing nothing, not yet. So you do this a few minutes. Okay. While I'm doing that, though, too, um, when we do get the vegetables out and everything that we're going to put on our pizza, I'll just kind of tell you what we're kind of doing. Um, you could have a sauce if you want. I mean, I always kind of, I would think, you know, a pizza, but you don't necessarily have to. I'm trying to make it nutritional as well, you know, with all the veggies and things that we're going to put on it. But this is a sauce that I use for uh, a lot of things. My uh, turkey meatloaf, I make it for that. My uh, spaghetti, I use it for that. So this is what this one is. Okay, this is organic roasted garlic. Okay, it's the pasta sauce. Then we're gonna spread it on our pizza, okay? So I have that, we're gonna do that. Okay, and then the sherry. Actually, the sherry's gonna go in with the chicken and those veggies. And we're gonna have fresh garlic in there too. It's gonna be uh, a healthy pizza. I guess you would say it's an Italian pizza and kind of healthy. Okay, so this is what it amounts to right now with those cubes of butter. Okay, so what we're gonna do, that's what I'm saying, we're gonna continue this and we're gonna come back. When I come back, since I told you everything that's up here now, we're going to switch out and get ready to roll out our dough. Not roll it out, but get it into some kind of form after this. Oh, and also too, I thought it, what would be nice is uh, walnuts. Walnuts. And in fact, I uh, toasted them. So toasted walnuts, I think I'm going to sprinkle on there. There's going to be a lot of things that I'm putting on this pizza. So. That's why I said, that's why I want you guys to create with me. And I'd like to know if you tried all the things that I'm going to put on this pizza. I would love to hear that in those com in the comments. Because some, you know, because I like fruit. So there is going to be fruit on, on this one. I mean, uh, pineapple. I'm sure people heard of uh, pineapple pizza. You know, like chicken and pineapple pizza. Um, a lot of people, you know, and then we're using three different cheeses, okay, so let's see, let me show you guys now, okay, you see, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but see the lumps, they're still kind of, but it's going, they're still kind of big, you still got those butter, but it's okay to have uh, a few lumps of this butter, because it's going to melt down, when it when it gets in the oven 
it's going to melt down okay that's kind of good right now for right now so i'm going to go ahead and switch out and bring out all of our veggies and everything that we're going to put on it and show you what that's going to look like so stay tuned